I'm muted. muted. I'm on mute. That's fine. I still have to pinch myself, Duke. And I've said it before and I will say it again. Two years ago, we were staring relegation down the barrel. We are about to play a European semi-final. I don't have it. I don't have much more to add than that. It's ridiculous. Um, guys, thanks for joining us. And please don't forget to like, comment on, share the stream. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already and make sure you hit that bell icon for alerts on new content. As always, we thank you very much indeed for your support. And support is what we will be bringing to London Stadium tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. How do you like those onions? Uh, oh, mate, honestly, okay, I've, I've been, as I said to you before we came live, I've been looking forward to this video all day. Like, obviously not quite as much as I'm looking forward to tomorrow, but right, but I've been looking forward to this. Yep. I've, 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 you know, conversed with a few people in the chat, you know, uh, on WhatsApp. I've spoken to my brother. I've spoken to my brother-in-law who, you know, I, I, I have the privilege of, of obviously being there with tomorrow as, as, alongside, you know, a lot of the people in the chat happy. You know, I know um, Gio uh, and Gonzo are, are obviously there tonight and uh, tomorrow. And, mm -hmm. you know, Becca um, from Hammers Chat and, and that was a coming down. And Lucas mm -hmm. has flown in, especially from, yeah. from America. That's you dedication know. to the calls, it has to be said. And, 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 mate, all of this is just setting it up for, for being so, something so special. You know, and we do this. We do this um, 
as a as a hobby. I, yep. I, you know, this is this is our hobby. We don't do this for <laughs> for for any money. You know, anything coming in. Certainly nope. not. We do this as a hab uh, as a hobby as a habit as a hobby. You know, meeting everyone. A hobby. Uh, <laughs> well, Bilbo, Gildo, yeah. in your case. Uh, let's not Easy. get into that conversation. Uh, you the one that did that the other day. That was you. That was you. That conversation, right? Um, Sexual deviant. Deviant. Um, and it's, it sets itself up. I mean, I, I get, I, I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Um, I get to watch this game with my younger brother um, and my brother in law. I mean, I remember my brother was 10 years old and we uh, we, we got relegated last game of the season um, at Birmingham. We mm. got relegated and my brother was in tears because it was the first relegation that he'd witnessed um, in the 10 years. We'd had, we'd had a decent 10 years up until that point. Yep. We flirted, but we hadn't gone down. Mm. Um, and then, you know, we, we had the heartbreak of the loss to Palace in the final. Um, again, he cried in 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 the Queens. You know, we, um, with that, Darren. you know, we we were in the Queens, and and he started crying again when we lost. Oh, mate, you can't beat a West Ham semi. Um, <laughs> well, you could beat a semi. Even depends, Dave. depends on whether you're on your own or not. <laughs> and you know, he cried Let's against. Still make it work. We had the we had the the pleasure of of in the Preston game. We were in the um okay. in Peter. We were in the in the bowling when we beat Preston. We were the first. In fact, we were the first ones out the door, um, and caused the the traffic jam from the from the statue. <laughs> I can believe that. My brother was maybe fourteen, and people were giving him cans of Stella at the statue. We were singing and dancing. Obviously, the FA Cup final in 06, heartbreak, but still a big big day out. Blackpool. Um, in the in the playoffs, and then there's today, okay. Or then, tomorrow? Or the, yeah, tomorrow. Uh, well, even today, meeting you and everyone in the chat. Um, yeah. Then there's then there's this. They are sorry, Hammerhead. It's always filth. Let's not lie. Um, and this is like those were big games for me because I've not known anything else. Same for you, Rob. You know, yeah. The, the playoffs. Um, yeah, we'd flirt with relegation left, right, and centre in in in, in mm. most of our time as West Ham fans. Let's not yep, mess around. More than once. You know, I think that the, the, you know the boys of eighty six is something we 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 like to brag about, and rightly so, we like to brag about. You know, um, and now we've got this. Mm. Now we've got this side, and this side for me have already cemented their their names in the annals of 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 what is West Ham history by getting to this semi-final. They're, yeah. They've already done that. They're already on par with the boys of 86, as far as I'm concerned, because of the where we are in the league, as I said to you the other day. Yeah. Eighth, eighth is probably the worst we're going to finish. Seventh, more than likely. A Euro, mm. a Euro semi-final, a big Euro semi-final, not you into two, Bob, or your Fairs Cup, or any of the rest of that malarkey. Mm. This is a big European competition. And we're in the semis. So these boys at the we, moment... We're facing a team that put Barcelona out. This is not listen, a mug team. This is not listen, a team that's fluked it. Listen, we're facing a team that are literally slap bang in the middle of their league. Okay. Mm. They are as many points away from Bayern Munich as champions as they are as many points away from, I think it's Hertha Berlin or Armenia Bielefeld in the bottom of the league. So they are literally bang in the middle. Now, oh, mate, seriously, like I got, I got goosebumps. I, I don't know if you saw me doing this at the camera um, during your intro. Um, You're welcome. Welcome. I was like, what? Um, I was like, we're live now. You know, I hope you haven't rewired this. There's no point in watching this one. Um, <laughs> I, I got I got goosebumps watching your intro video of all those big moments that you've got in there. You know, um, the, the 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 Jeff Hurst hat trick in the World Cup, the mm. Trevor Brooking falling over his shoelaces in the six yard box to you know Ed Paul uh, against Arsenal, and, and the Samora's goal, and and 
Cole, Cole's 20th of the season, by the way. I said that before. Yeah. Um, and we get to experience this together tomorrow. Everyone that I've, you know, everyone that we've met via YouTube that we... There are some that I've never met, but I feel like I know them. You know, yep. the, the likes of, you know, um, um, Becca, Hammers Chat Becca. Yep. I, feel like, I feel like I know her. Affers, you know, I feel like I know these people. I've never met them, but yet the, the, they feel as close to me as, as some of my real family do. You know, so to be able to meet these guys and be able to do this with them tomorrow, witness mm. this tomorrow, hopefully come out of, the other side of this, you know, in, in, you know, about 26 hours that as happy mentioned earlier, she could be bawling her eyes out tomorrow, babe. I don't think you're going to be the only one because honest to God, if everything goes to plan tomorrow, regardless of whether we get, whether it goes to plan or not, but we still come out the other side with a win, I'll be the same. Mm. And then in seven days time, eight days time, who knows where we're going to be, but essentially, we need to avoid defeat in one of the next... Well, we need to win two of the next three and avoid defeat, really, to hmm. be able to, uh, to, to to lift that trophy, to see Nobes. Oh, let's not cry. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh. Um, yeah, but, don't do yeah, it. Stay strong. Tomorrow's going to be an all-dayer. Um, all-dayer. All-dayer. All-dayer yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to it. Well, I just to mark everybody's tell. card, uh, I like I like to try and get this little bit of information away because we've we've got the the match officials. Uh, forgive me if I mispronounce these, oh, especially please. the referee. Go on, boy. Go uh, on. Let me his name is Sirdar yeah, Goz Gozubuyuk. It, uh, it says he's from the Netherlands, but I'm guessing he's he's of Turkish Goz, descent. Goz with a name like that. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, I've, pro fire. I've probably just yeah. butchered it. There are probably Turks that are going to watch this that are going to be thoroughly offended by this. So I apologise. I, I, just... I think we've only got four. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> he will be ably assisted, hopefully, by Just Van Zuylen and Johan Balder. The fourth official. Now, this is, this is what I don't get. You look at all of these guys. They're all from the Netherlands, except for the fourth official, who is Tassos Sidiropoulos. Hey, Did I do that? That's Tassos. really impressive. They, I've been practicing that one. Um, he's from Greece. The VAI is Paul Van Berkel, and his assistant will be Dennis Higler. Right. Am I right in thinking this referee has given out yes. X amount of cards he's, in so he, 143 cards in 34 games yeah. or some stupid like it, this? It was it? it was it was something a little bit um where I looked at it and went, bloody hell, he, he likes... Uh, cheers, Darren. I, as I say, I've, I've, I have been trying not to... I mean, the, the the Greek one, I was actually fine with. It was the Turkish... Well, like I say, he's, he's Netherlands, but you can clearly Possibly see he's blood. Turkish. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, blood. yeah, yeah. That one was like, oh, my God. What am I... How am I going to pronounce that and not look like a complete div? But, you know, I, I, I did all right. I think I think I did okay. Um, and da Darren says, not bad, not bad. So, cheers, Darren. Yeah, Appreciate well. it, mate. Um, right. So, shall we get into it, my friend? Shall we get what I have predicted for the starting 11s for the hey, respective teams? Hey, if uh, honest to God, okay, if you, after Saturday, no, mm -hmm. Sunday, sorry, if you can predict tomorrow's starting lineup, right, I... I'm going to be very, very surprised. Because there is a I, caveat to that, and we will a, we will come to that. Listen, there's, 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 I watched um, just before we came live. I mm -hmm. spent um, I spent about oh, half an hour watching uh, Young Jake over okay, on yep, yep. Um, West Ham Unofficial with yep, Budgie. Yeah, Budgie, the, Budgie, Budgie was Mike. over there. Actually, happy get Budgie in the chat. He's decided not to rock up look, unless he's busy. <laughs> Cheeky sod. He's, um, he's 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 going to be nursing a nice nice glass of wine, I reckon, or maybe a I beer. Don't, I don't reckon he is. I reckon he's on the uh, tea total at the minute. He's, he's been told he's got. He oh drink. yeah, yeah, yeah. Love him, um, Mr. Cox. Jake Jake was banging on about the fact that we only have fifteen fit players at the minute, like senior. Hanging on, players. his dad's in the chat. He won't. No, he won't be keen on that. No, no, no. I'm, I, he's right in what he's saying. 
but he banged on about the fact that we can that, that we can deploy yep. so many surprises tomorrow with um you know Fredericks and Soufal starting out on the right. I'm ignoring him. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, I want nothing more. I don't care who fucking scores tomorrow night, right? So he could get five and I'd I'd love him. I'd love him in that moment. But he's still shit. Um, it, you know, it, it, can, it can deploy many different tactical you know, masterpieces tomorrow. You know, be it, you know, Arthur and Goal, I think, might, you know, nothing would surprise me right now. I, it really wouldn't. Um, you know, let's be honest, just about a year ago when he when he decided to drop Fredericks and Soufal to, to combat Jack Grealish at Villa, no one saw that coming. Like, none of us. It weren't even like... And now we're all trying to second-guess ourselves to guess what Moise is doing. So if oh. you get anywhere near it, if you get anywhere near it, that's off to you, my man. Oh, OK. Let's, let's get into it. OK, so let's go full screen. Else. Let's go full screen with yeah, that. Get rid of the banner yeah. at the bottom. There you yep. go. Okay, <laughs> so Ariola's coming back. I think we, we can pretty oh, much nail yeah. that down. Now, what I have to say is that I did this last night, but it came out in the last couple of hours that there is a possibility, however slight it may be, it's about that Kurt 60, Zuma may be involved. May be involved. If he is involved, I rather suspect we might go four at the back. If he isn't, then I suspect this is what we're going with. Back three, Cresswell left, Johnson right, Dawson central. Exactly what we had against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge on Sunday. The midfield four will be, Kufel will be the right wing back. For Nels, I suspect, will be the left wing back. Masuaku drops out. Declan Rice will have the captain's armband alongside Thomas Socha in the engine room. The two in front of them will be Manuel Lanzini and Jared Bowen. And Mikel Antonio will be the number nine. Duke, over to you. Yeah, listen. If Zoom is fit, you, you, you're spot on. There, there's, there's, there's nothing else that's going to change there. I think Soufal and um, Johnson out there can possibly um, you know, nullify. The, the only player that I know out of this Frankfurt side that sticks sticks to my mind, as as you guys know, I mm. watch a bit of um, I watch a bit of a, a Frankfurt, yeah, uh, in in the Bundesliga. I, I, I you know I enjoy my Bundesliga football. Um, Kostic Kostic is the only one you know. As as again watching um, Hammers chat Charlie earlier with the the Euro expert, he was talking you know and they were discussing about um, Rebic and. Um, Haller and uh, is it, uh, Luka Jovic those, those days are gone and these guys are very much kind of a, a similar side to us and you know they, they like to try and go from front to back in as little time as possible mm -hmm. um, and you know get their shots away early etc etc so but Kostic is the only one I know now he's the only one I fear um, and knowing that you're going to have Soufal and, you know, old Glenn Ben on the on the right side of that centre back three, hmm. um, does make me a little bit more confident of keeping Costit under, you know, under. You think under they're going to have the solidity to, oh, to yeah. shut him down? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, my so if if Zuma comes back, my man, who drops out? And when we go back to a four, four, I think, five, I I think it will be a back four containing Cresswell left. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say it will be Johnson that drops out, and it will be oh, Zuma right. yeah, yeah, yeah. and Dawson at the centre backs. And I think it will be um, it will be four two three one. It will be Rice and Sochek yeah. as the double pivot. It will be four nails left. Lanzini as the ten. Bowen is on the right, and Mikel Antonio yeah, through the yeah, middle. Yeah. If we start with um, Kurt Zuma, but uh, so it'll be Ben Johnson that drops out, I believe. Would you? Okay, let me ask you this: based yep. on what Luke says there, at what point of what level of fitness 
do you run the risk on Zuma, Rob? 80. 80%. I, I don't even think I could do that. Really? No. I'd rather see this team tomorrow. I'd rather see some sort of similar team on Sunday against mm -hmm. Arsenal. Yep. And then give Zuma another week because I feel we're yeah. going to need him away more than we more than likely would need him at the London Stadium tomorrow. Fair. Um, listening to the Euro expert earlier, okay, the way he was talking about um, Frankfurt and, and Darren, Darren's last comment there kind of alludes to it. When they when they attack, they play with five very high up. They play with their front three, and then the two wing backs are left and right, include you know Kostic, uh, Kostic included, mm. like to get very high up. And and what they were saying was that when the back three have got the ball, um, Dan, Mister Morehouse, Hope um, you well, sir. When when the defence have got the ball, the back three. Kostic and the other, and, and the right wing back are essentially level with their striker on the halfway line. Yeah, and they love. To... Oh, <laughs> hey! good man! Some, I love someone it. had to, and I knew I knew it'd be him. He didn't let us down. Um, yeah, they like to play really high, um, which could well suit us, Rob, because the yep. space in behind for the likes of Antonio. Um, pulling out to to the left, or you know, and, and bowing out on the right. Hmm. Obviously, with Su uh, Sufal bombing on, because we know that Sufal's um, attacking prowess is is significantly more than Ben Johnson hmm. and his delivery of balls. So, if you can get him in and behind um, when they are, you know, they're going gung ho, if you will. Yeah. Um, Bosch, then it's it's it will suit us. It will suit us in this formation because we can go from you know a back five with Suchek and Rice sitting mm. and just having you know the three the three uh forward players on the halfway line to having you know Suchek arriving late, Sufal bombing on down the right there left, Fornell's making his way into the box at the back post. We can also go quite quickly on attack to a five without fucking ourselves up because mm. obviously you, you'd still have your back four as such with um, Rice or Suchek dropping in, you know, into a uh, into the gap where uh, Dawson Cresswell, Dawson Johnson is. So we're, yep. we're not gonna um, we're not gonna. We're not going to expose ourselves. Mm. Steady. Um, so Steady. For me, I if, listen. If Zuma's not one hundred percent fit, I wouldn't risk him tomorrow. Not even ninety percent. No, not even ninety percent fit for me. Okay. I, 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 I think Zuma, Zuma could be the key to the second leg. Right. And us keeping a clean sheet in Frankfurt. Fair enough. Fair enough. You guys in the live chat. Please get in in your in the comment section what eleven you would select. Would you play Zuma? Would you not play Zuma? What's your formation? Give us give us a little bit of uh, content. We'll get your comments up as we go along, and we'll we'll dig into that. Uh, should we get into the what I believe the Frankfurt lineup will be? I have no idea, but yeah, one. Well, well that's what you, I'm going with. What have you got for me? I'm going with Kevin Trapp as the goalkeeper now. They've uh, they've got a couple of players that are going to be uh, not involved, uh, namely Evan Ndika and Christian Jakic. They're both serving suspensions. Now, big, big. Yes. Now, that's what I've gone with. Now, um, there is, uh, on the right, you've got the Brazilian tutor. Now, I'm torn between him and another guy, a guy called Almami Toure as going to be the right-sided centre back but i've i've gone with two to be it could be it could be two array but hinterega will be central and i suspect that the left centre back will be hasebi the midfield four we, you've mentioned him on the left philip kostic and canal will be right Rhoda will be the captain in the centre with sal alongside him 
The two in front of them will be Kamada and Lindstrom and Bore will be the number nine as far as I can tell. So, again, Duke, what are your thoughts on that, if that's what we're facing? Um, Hinteregger at the back will let Antonio know that he's going to have to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, Kevin Trapp's a good keeper. Yes, he is. He he is a good keeper. Uh, To answer that, Luke, um, both of their wing backs are very, very pacey. Um, but Kostic is the he is their danger man tomorrow, regardless of of anyone else on that pitch. If you look at one of the goals he scores, um, again, I was uh, watching the, the the Euro expert with Charlie yep. over on Hammers chat, and. We were talking, he was talking about um, a certain goal. So I went back and watched it. I don't remember it was against. Just Wally makes a really great point. (laughs) Wally just needs to behave himself. That's all I'm asking that Wally does right now. Um, When, yeah, you watch, you watch a certain goal that he scores and Mm. he looks up to put a cross in and he just swings the ball. Now, now. When you watch it back and you show the focus on on Kostic, yep, he he looks up at the goal, uh, looks up at the box and sees that there is no one in there. He then looks to his left and sees that the goalkeeper is off his line. Then he swings the ball towards the back post and scores. It's a deliberate shot at goal. Um, and it's a stunning goal. Um, listen, they came out very, very quickly um, against Barcelona. Yeah. Now, it's a Barcelona team that we've we've had this discussion, Rob, over and over again. It's a Barcelona side that I would have been quite happy facing. Yeah. They're not the Barcelona of, of you know... Messi, a, a Neymar, of, Suarez, a number Iniesta. Of years. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're not that, the same side. That version of Barcelona, I'd have been shitting myself, quite frankly. Yeah. Listen, they came out. They came out of the blocks like wildfire. Mm. Bang, right? And Barcelona couldn't contain it. And, and the next thing you know, they're three goals up. And they're just now trying to waste time. Um, you know, Barca got two quick goals. Two- quick goals back, um, just at the wrong end of the game. You know, I think it was 90 and 95th minute, last kick of the game. Go, You know, penalty um, job done. Now, I don't think we have to fear them, Rob. I really don't. I, and, and listen, touch wood that this doesn't come back and bite me in the arsehole on, on Friday when we do a, you know, when we do the, 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 the review, yeah. I hope it doesn't come back and bite me, but I really don't think we have much to fear. You know, let's be honest, you saw the, and, and this, this, our lineup, yeah, with stronger players, let's clear that up. Our lineup with stronger players performed admirably against Chelsea on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Okay, and by that I we the got world stronger. and European champions. Yeah, um, and and I said you know bring on Antonio because we would have been able to hold the ball up better up front. Um, Agreed. Maybe happy, maybe. Um, <laughs> there's a distinct possibility. Um, now we we're, we're well drilled in defence. We showed that against Chelsea in this lineup in in this formation. Mm-hmm. Um, we can be very well drilled against these guys, and these guys are no Chelsea. Let's let's be honest. No, that, that Chelsea no. side weren't great on Sunday, but we Agreed. still had to do our job. Okay, um, so I'm confident. I am confident for tomorrow. I really don't think we have too much to worry about. Kostic could be a problem. He's he's, he's a, the danger man, isn't he? Yeah, I, listen. You know, when we well, did... Kamada and Bore, I would, I would suggest, are not, uh, are not to be disregarded either. Listen, Kostic would walk into our team. Okay, Kostic would walk into. Our yeah, team. on the left there's, easily. There's no two ways about that. The rest yeah. of them, maybe Hinteregger, um, I like him. He's solid. 
he's a no nonsense. Dawson, he's he's a he's a he's yeah no nonsense. You know, kick Chadams in the face for all I give a shit. Um, kind of defender. Yeah, you know, so maybe Hinterega um, replaces Diop. Kostic doesn't replaces... replace Dawson. No, no, no. We, we replaces Diop or Ogbonna. You know. Yes, that's right, Rob. It's, it's true. It's true. Um, yep. Kostic comes in and replaces, you know, Ben Rama. Fornells probably would drop down because. Kostic in your estimation, that... my nan replaces Ben Rama. Let's not kid Listen, ourselves. Listen, in my estimation, the roadkill badger out the front of the pub would replace Ben Rama, but that's not the point. Okay. Fair enough. That's a bit harsh. On the badger or Ben Rama? On, on Benny. The dead badger has more foot pulling intelligence. Oh, you're harsh. You're harsh. Right. Okay. Next slide, please, as they say. Right. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Europa, Europa League form and the final <laughs> competitions for both the combatants tomorrow. I would suggest that our form, great. No, it is not. But I would suggest that it's better than theirs, Duke. Would you not agree? <sighs> doesn't matter. No, I, I, and, I don't know about it. it doesn't matter. It I mean, doesn't, form is an indicator. No, it doesn't matter. Not in these, mate. Um, in, in these these knockout games. You know, um, I, I, I said something along the line similar but back when we came up against Seville. Um, form, form really doesn't uh, apply too much in these situations. It's a semi-final of, of a major European competition. Mm. It goes out the window um, in, in the same way that, you know, uh, the, the young lad over on chat um, turned around and said they're, they're very much a bipolar side. Their, 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 their league form pals into insignificance when it comes to how they play in Europe. Um, you know, you they're unbeaten in Europe on, mm. on, on this one here, Rob. You know, we've got we've got two losses in, in, in Europe, you know, so mm. but it doesn't matter. That 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 really isn't an indication because tomorrow you you could have three or four players that just absolutely crumble under the pressure of what is a huge European semi-final matchup with, let's be honest, both sides would fancy their chances of mm. going all the way and winning this. You know, spoke to a couple of Leipzig fans uh, via Twitter, um, was, was reading through um, and translating some tweets from Twitter from some Leipzig fans. And they feel they got the better option. They got the better. Yeah, that's a that's a fair point. They've got the better option, Leipzig. They they've got the they they reckon they had the easier route to the final and make them right. You know they did. They certainly listen. They've they've beaten Frankfurt in the league, so they'd be quietly confident of of going again. They didn't want to face us, Leipzig. Leipzig did not want to be anywhere near our club. Not being funny, but once we knocked Seville out, I don't think anyone wanted to face us, quite frankly. Listen, and certainly Seville, not once we knocked out Leon. Seville didn't want us. Leon didn't want us. If you go back through the Twitter accounts of, of these fans on, on mm. Twitter, it was anyone but. Anyone but West Ham. Anyone but West Ham. You know, even Barcelona. I think one of the Barcelona fan pages on Twitter. Anyone but West Ham, please God, no. Mm. So we are feared, and and I think listen, both both sides, in fact, all four sides, all four sides left in it, must really, really fancy their chances of going on all, all the way and taking this. Hmm. Well, you, well, you but, make it to a semi final, you've got to make yourself, but, you've got to back oh, yourself. But then, would you, would you, would you still feel that confident if we were playing Barcelona? Um, would you feel as confident against? Leipzig tomorrow. Prob probably not, but that would probably right. be more because of the name Barcelona rather than rather than Ooh. their personnel. That's you know what I mean. Saying. I'm ask I'm just asking. Would you feel as confident? You, you yeah. said they're probably not. It's um, probably more a psychological fear of the name Barcelona. But once you sort of like forget that, look at the players. 
would and you'd you, probably go, actually... Would you be fearful if Rangers hadn't beaten Dortmund and this was Dortmund we were coming up against? You see what I mean? Hmm. So, yeah, I mean, Darren, Darren makes a very good... Darren, well, Happy makes a great point there. You know, <clears throat> the, this is the only way they can get into Europe next season. They're, they're mid-table club at the minute, which should give us some confidence because the Bundesliga, much like the Premier League this season, if you want, is is really only contested by two sides in Dortmund and mm. Munich, and the rest of them are then the also runs. Yeah. Well, Liverpool, Man City. And then the rest of the Premier League are also runs. I think they're fifth. They're they're tenth, ninth in the league. They're ninth in the yes. league. Yes, yes, they are. Um, but they are, you know, x amount of points top and bottom. So they are a very bang average Bundesliga side this season. <laughs> I think so. I think he's right. And I, I, love th- I think yeah. I love well, it. His- well, we're saying that now. I mean, if the worst captains tomorrow and and. Thursday next week, we we might want to revisit that particular statement, but I know what you're saying. In on paper, on, on paper, yeah, exactly. Right I mean, it's the old said. thing, though, isn't it? The game's played on grass, not paper. I mean, I listen. I, as I say, I watch a lot of Bundesliga. If I had a hand pick out of the two teams that are left out of the Bundesliga, take Frankfurt all day long. But Why? Actually, I don't know. You just think they're tailor like made for us. Yeah, they are for the, for for what we need to do. Leipzig, Leipzig are a a, a, a very good side. They are well coached. They are Teach. well drilled. Um, they are currently considered well. It's it's well known that they are the most hated club in German football right now. Why is, is that? It, right, it, it comes from the whole Red Bull malarkey, mate. It, it basically they feel that um, a lot of um, German football supporters. A lot of German football club owners as well, um, they don't like doing uh, deals where Leipzig buy players from them, but they will quite happily buy the players from Leipzig. It's, it's quite amusing. But it's it's the whole thing of they basically, they they bought their way to where they are. They, you know, again, you could say no different to Chelsea when, when Chelsea did it, no different mm. to City. Certainly no different than what Newcastle are about to do. And and certainly if we found ourselves in a position, then no different than what we'd do. And no and I, I won't lie to you, I'll be buzzing if that was what was gonna happen. I get yeah. you know, at the end of the day, um, you want your club to be successful. Where that success mm. comes from, be that, you know, a a, 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 a country with some questionable morals, fuck it. You're gonna spend money on my football club. Mm. Oil, oil, dodgy Russian money. Fuck it. Give me, give me success. That's where I'm at. I'm sorry. Mm. Don't I'm a know. Football, football fan first and foremost. Um, West Ham mm. have been the love of my life for 44 years. Like don't, Christian don't let Joe hear you say that. Um, no, she knows. She comes second. <laughs> she comes actually. She comes fourth to West Ham, the two kids, and then her. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. But that, that's why that. I'm at. And that, but that's why that's why the German clubs hate and, and the German population such hate um Leipzig because they were bought by Red Bull. In fact, it wasn't even Leipzig. Leipzig scoured uh was what's it, was you? I'm trying to remember. Buddy, I love you. Um I'm trying to remember the team that over. they took over. It what they weren't it was, called Leipzig, were they? No, it was a a, a Westfalen or, or, or it was very it was a very Nondescript third division, yeah, third tier, um, third tier club. They scouted um, several places in Germany over three or four years before they they settled on this now defunct um, German side, mm. um, and you know they poured money into this club. They built a tailor made training complex. They built a tailor made stadium. Um, and they just threw money, which, um, you know, in the old Division Three of Germany, Division Two, you know, or well, Bundesliga 2 and, and then Bundesliga, um, they they steamrolled the opposition because there was Mark no... Mark Randstad. Mark Randstad. There was no... Um, there, there was no opposition for them. 
there was no challenging against them. They they bought the best players, you know, that were going to compete in the third division, threw a lot of wages at them, became very lopsided in the league. They, you know, I think in their first season, I think they won the league by X amount of points. I think it was done with you know, probably seven or eight games to go up to the next level. And and and, and clubs feel like they've just bought their way, you know, bought their way into it. Uh, it's the same as um Salzburg are not exactly revered in in Austria, in Austria. for the same reason, I suppose. Um, Red Bull, uh, New York Red Bulls. Yep, I think they own they own a club in Australia. Uh, Red they've got Bull one in Disney. Brazil, haven't they? They've got one in Brazil, one in Africa, one in yeah. Australia. They've got one in America. They have two in Europe. Chris. Um, so they, they they own six clubs, and they get around it by having. Different. Oh, I'm, I'm ignoring him. It's another one. <laughs> this one. Um, they get around it by having obviously different ownership, different names on the ownership papers yeah. of the two clubs. So if Leipzig uh, qualify for the Champions League, they can still play against um, Salzburg because although owned by a company, they they're owned by a person that works for that company. So then there's a, I think you did this before, which mm. allows them obviously then to compete in, um, against each other in Europe. Whereas if Kratinsky buys West Ham, mm. he would have to give up his majority shareholding in Sparta because he owns both. His name's on the paperwork for both. It's not a company. So, um, yeah. So there you go. There you go. Little history lesson. Right. That is our previous encounters with Eintracht Frankfurt. Now, we faced them before in a European semi-final. And it went rather well, didn't it? All right, we lost the first leg. But we lost the battle and we won the war. Uh, actually, that's probably a really unfortunate... Um, I mean, a really unfortunate uh, choice of words that I've just done there, being a German team. Apologies. About it it is what German. it is. Come on, about. I know, I know, Fuck I know. <laughs> I'd rather not. Um, I don't know. It's in summer. Well, we, I did take you in on that thing about Oktoberfest, didn't I? Mm-hmm. We got, we got. We I'm got not wearing that. lederhosen. I'm clearing. No, that no, up. no, 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 no. I'm going with draw, Crocs. I'll draw, I got I got to draw the line somewhere, mate. I ain't wearing Crocs. I think I'd rather wear a pair of fluffy pink luminous slippers. But there you I go. I wonder if I can get a pair of lederhosen and leather Crocs, uh, mate. Mm. What a look that would be. Yeah, Chris. Um, likewise to you, as as I've already yes. said to you before. Get get the Call job the done. Uh, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping it can be a, a European treble. Um, I don't mind whether it's City or Liverpool. We win you know, the Europa League. On that. Leicester win the Conference League. All is good. All is yeah, good. But doubt. yeah, so there, and, and obviously for people of a certain vintage, and and that game that we won three one at Upton Park, two goals from Trevor Brooking, one from Keith Robson. I've seen those goals so many times, and people of, of a certain vintage. And I, I wasn't even one year of age, believe it or not. When that game took place. No, I wasn't. Shut up. Um, but my my dad was at that game, I do believe. Um, there are plenty of other people that I've heard that have said that the atmosphere that night was was very, very special. And we need to try and recreate the atmosphere that we had in that game against Seville. It didn't quite hit the heights in, in the game against Leon. It was decent enough. But we need to try and hit the atmosphere levels that we had first game of the Premier League season at home to Leicester. Um, we need to try and get it to where it was against Seville. If we can do that, I seriously think that we can, A, intimidate them. Which oh, won't be a that. mean feat. That won't be a mean feat. Because don't forget, this is a team that went to the Camp No and won. All right, yeah. they had, but they did have thirty thousand fans. Say, they, they they filled half the stadium with the, yeah. with, the, with the with the with the away fans, which obviously we're we're putting pay to. Hopefully. Did you hear about the, the their president? Yeah, complaining he's a knob. about the fact that um, their supporters aren't allowed in the home end, and I'm like, really? Uh, mate, um, 
it's it's obviously done the rounds across every so we are, so you're perfectly cool with us rocking up to Frankfurt then mate and getting in the home end is that is that where we're at mate oh. I'll tell you now you know we, we had this issue no sadly not <laughs> no um, we had no this we issue, get an extra place we had this issue before okay the the um official Olympic Leonese um English Twitter feed you know, replied to Europa League and saying, you know, do you honestly think we're not going to be we're there? We're not getting through, yeah. Um, you know, you Team got talk the, done. You had the winker. Well, for me, this is no different. You know, the the, the president has started, you know, decided that it'd be a really good idea to spout off a load of bullshit that, you know, we're not letting away fans in the home end. Terrible. Who How does? dare we? Who does like? Well, obviously we do when it comes to tourists, but yeah, who, honestly, who does like? You're running the risk of causing a problem if you're going to allow. That's well, okay, as far as Peter Fisher's concerned. Well, these fuckwits, these fuckwits, especially because I tell you what, right? And and for everyone who's going tomorrow, I want to make this perfectly clear. Don't listen. Don't if you're going to wear your colours. Please don't end up being, you know, split from other people um, because obviously they decided they seen a bit bad. They didn't, you know, they decided to come hunting for us in Seville. Okay. Mm. If what's being said that these guys are going to bring between 20 and 25,000 over and they're still looking for tickets because I've, I, I, um, some dipstick on Twitter that I decided to have a little nose in his account. He's flying. Right. He's flying over tomorrow morning. He lands in London at half past eleven. Right. <laughs> I've got his time. I've got his flight time. Tab. It's amazing. Um, he lands uh, London City Airport at half past eleven. He still doesn't have a ticket. He's going to go to the bridge and see if touts and all the rest of it and da da da. Right. Now they're going to be coming. They're going to be coming mob handed. Now they they went hunting for us in Seville. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all I ask is. That you guys that are going tomorrow, please stay safe. Please stay in groups. Please don't get you find yourself isolated. You know, I, I, I personally think that the Olympic Park will be a ring of steel, as mm -hmm. as is you know. Well, it's a big police from, presence there tonight, apparently. Yeah, um, you know, from probably the stations at Stratford, so international and the underground. Mm -hmm. You know, all the way around Westfield, all the way out to the other side of, um, of a, obviously the Olympic Park, where you can walk in from the other end. Yep. Listen, that'll be a ring of steel. That's not where I'm worried. I'm, I'm worried for people's safeties, back streets on the walk in and things like that. If they're not going directly to the stadium, mm. so please stay safe. Um, if you, you know, if you are feeling slightly concerned, make sure you stay in a, a in an open, you know, kind of yeah, publicy place. Yeah. Um, just don't find yourself in a situation because, like I say, these Common guys, sense. these guys did come hunting for us while we were in. Well, sorry, we weren't. I wasn't now. Um, you know, why, why, why the fans were in Seville in yeah. an Irish bar? Um, they didn't think twice of that. Yeah, I, I just, can't imagine that they're going to think twice on this one either. Just on this one, Dan. If I if I may answer this question directly, do I think that we have to win tomorrow? Not necessarily. We didn't win against Leon. And we went to Leon and took care of business. It would be better if we could. I mean, look, if we went and won yet uh, tomorrow three nil and have half a foot in the final, happy days. But if we if it finishes one all tomorrow, I, do I do I think that we couldn't go to Frankfurt and get a result? I, I absolutely believe we can. I don't. I don't think that's what he means there, mate. If you can go back one. I think what he means is with obviously the history now of having qualified and being um, being in these competitions previously. That I think that what they're looking to do is bring in a mm. rule change. There you go. He's, he's, he's last the last comment on. Um, basically, the rule change that they're looking to make is um, you know for you to qualify for a Champions League means that you have to have a, 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 have had a history in Europe to be able to qualify for the Champions League or. Uh. I think that was the rule they were looking to bring right. in. The, the, the more history you have in Europe, um, I've misunderstood the question. Yeah, no, no, that's place. that's why that's why I was just. Yeah. Um, uh, um, I think, regardless of that, um, mm. turf. Regard or what's his name, Dan? Isn't Dan, it? is it Dan? Um, regardless of that, Dan. Um, 
I, I just think we need to, regardless, oh, I will beg. If it comes finding me, I'd, yeah, you, oh, shut up, ankle biter, <laughs> behave yourself. Um, she will. Yeah. And I'd, so will I, Darren. Regardless, oh, I'm not on the boat, so I'm going to be in the... Are you not? No, I didn't get a ticket. It's sold out. Oh, crumbs. So I will... Oh, no, I Jazz! Hope you're well, my friend. I hope you're well. Um, yeah, I just think, regardless of, of history and European competitions and all the rest of it, I just want a fucking trophy. Ooh. I want to win it. Congratulations. I want to win it. I want to win it. Regardless of what what can come from it, I want to win it. It's the same as, you, you know, we were talking or someone else was talking the other day about um, winning the League Cup. You know, mm. it's not considered a major trophy. I couldn't give a shit. It's a trophy Who in says a it's not a major trophy? It qualifies um, you for Europe, doesn't it? Um, no, it's no, no. Of silverware? You know, I, I think it might have been uh, uh, Gonzo or even Gio saying, um, oh, um, I think, he, yeah, he said about, obviously, a major trophy would be, you know, like, the, the, the Europa League, like the elite would be Premier League and uh, Champions yeah. League. Major oh, trophy would be the FA Cup and Europa League, and then uh, you know the League Cup is is there. A, I don't care. I listen. If someone said to me I'll at the start of the season Cup. you're going to win the League Cup, mate, I'd be I'd I'd, I'd be in heaven. It's yeah. a trophy. We haven't won once in what? Oh, bloody hell! 42, 42 years. Forty two yeah. years is the last time. That we we can honestly say we won something. Now, mm. regardless, of, mate, if, if they everyone everyone talks and well, we certainly did. Listen, I when when Spurs got knocked out of the, the conference league, we called it, you know, the, the, the Mickey Mouse Cup of, of Well they Europe. didn't turn for their last game, did they? They didn't nah, they got they essentially thrown out. But it's we you know, we called it and we did call it, you know, the the, the, the farmers market league in, in Europe, right? Yeah. Um I'm telling you now, if Leicester win that, if Leicester beat Roma and Leicester go on to win that tournament, are they going to consider it the Farmers League market? Are they going to consider it a Mickey Mouse Cup of Europe? Of course you fucking No, but, that's, but they won't because I'm not being funny that they're, Leicester are a more down-to-earth bunch of supporters than yeah, no, the, the average all, Tottenham fan, do you know what I mean? Guys, but these are also the guys, mate, that have won the FA Cup. They've won the, the Premier League. They've won yeah. the Elite Trophy oh, no, for no, this no, country. But, but and they're, they're not gonna, the they're Sky not gonna, top six. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no. They're not going to laugh in the face of a, of a no. trophy. Same as me with, with, the, with the, the League Cup. So, um, you know, I, I, I don't care about the... Uh, to answer Dan's um, question there, I don't care about whether we have to win it because it might affect what we do in Europe going forward. I couldn't give a monkey's. I just want the trophy. And if anything, I don't want the trophy for my club. You know what I want it for? I want that trophy for Nobes. If anything, if I had to if I had to put it down to one thing, I want that trophy for Nobes. I want Nobes to be able to sign off his West Ham career. And now, he has we... confirmed that there's no way that even if we win it and we get into the Champions League by virtue of winning it, he said. This is me done. He's confirmed is that, it. Is that him done career or is that just him done at West Ham? Well, what I read, I hope it's done and done. I'm, I'm prob, I'm prob, I'm probably doing myself out of people to watch it because there's a, there's a, um, there's going to be a little piece that goes out tomorrow morning where I talk about it. But yeah, he's, he's basically said this is it. Listen, I, 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 I go goosebumps, Rob. Look, I'm, I'm. Look, it's I'm um, I'm a mess here right now. That man come the final of that trophy and we win it. The only way it would be better to win it would be that man sticking away the fifth and final penalty in a penalty shootout to win it, and then he goes up and lifts that trophy. That's the that only way. Be bad, that's, would it? that's the only way that makes Aaron's that gone a bit Harry met Sally. No, yeah, <laughs> but it's right though. I'll have what I, she's I, having. I, listen, I'd love I'd love to win it. I'd love to win it as a West Ham fan, but I want to win it for Nobes more more than that. If I may, the mm. last comment, I'm going to quickly jump in. What, I'd like one? to say happy birthday Is it? To, to Peach's old man. Barney, happy birthday, mate. How many, how many candles birthday. is that? That's going to be, what, 21, isn't it? I reckon there's, listen, he's probably, he's probably a lot older than, he probably looks a lot older than he is having Peach as a son. 
Well, there is that. You know, there is that. listen, I'm not even related to Peach, and I talk to him, or I listen to his 45-minute voice note on oh, yeah. WhatsApp, and I can feel myself getting older as I listen to him. So, so I'd have to live with him. <laughs> I love him. But, Barney, happy birthday to you, my man. Yeah, well happy birthday, mate. And uh, hopefully, well, this time tomorrow, plus another hour, you'll be celebrating a, a stunning victory and a, an, an away point in West don't, Ham's history. Don't say that. Don't say in a day and an hour. How about in 24 hours' time, we are literally rocking that stadium because we are 2-0 mm. up and we are, we are dominating massive. and we are controlling. Can you imagine how that would be epic? Oh, yes. I do remember that, Mark. Behave yourself. Bloody coming in here and giving it all that. Makes a change for someone not to start having a pop at me for being old. <sighs> we ain't finished yet. Well, there is that. <laughs> there is that. The night is young. So... There you go. Right. So I guess we should probably have a little bit of this discussion, Duke. Um, and you guys in the, in the live chat, what you got for me? get involved in this one because what's coming next is... Talk to me. Two, three, one. Three, one. I changed my mind. I was going to go 3 0, and I thought that was being greedy. Right. But I promise you now, I will be dropping two bets on tomorrow being a 3 0 and a 3 1 victory in our favour. They, they both will be going on. And I'm confident that either of them will hmm. be uh, like they, they both can come in. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'd be happy. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be exuberant if we won 3 0. I'd be very, very happy we take a 3 1 win. Um, yeah, perhaps. Um, I'm probably going to try and find my way to um, the supporters bar if you're about because you might need to sign me and my brother in law in. <laughs> um, so keep your eye on your phone, love. If not, Rob, I'll find you. I was going to um, say, come you, you send, send a message to Geo, see if you can get on the, the boats. I, mate, I just go stand outside the Heineken bar by. Oh shit, the thing's not in. Hang on. There yeah, but it's bloody expensive over there, isn't I, it? Mate, I don't give a monkey's. I'll just have two. I'll, I'll buy myself two or four two pinters. Go stand in a corner and just go oh, bollocks. I'll listen to the music. I'll sing West Ham on Massive. Uh, thank you, Prince Charming, actually, to give me my full title. He used to be a frog. And Still Joe took someone. pity on Joe took pity on him. She kissed him and Still am some might say. <laughs> I'm going 2 0. So still a two goal margin, but I think we keep a clean sheet tomorrow. Um especially if Zoom is playing. Listen, listen. Um it could be a one nil win, it could be a two nil win, it could be a two one win, it could be a three one, three nil, four, whatever. I don't care. A victory is going to be a victory, and a victory will stand us in very, very good stead going to the away leg. Um, and, a, and a defeat or a draw isn't the end of the world. We've proved that already, okay, with, with the Leon. Um, I, I'm, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm beginning to feel tired now, right? I didn't have a great deal of sleep last night. And I have been absolutely buzzing off my tits all day. Like, literally, like, I, I, I woke up this morning downstairs and I turned on the TVs in the pub and yeah. um, they were showing the highlights of the uh, the, the Leon game. Oh. And the hair stood up on the back of my neck, my arm hair. Like, I literally, I was, I was transfixed. I was like, I want to watch it again, right? And... Um, I'm I'm at a point where if we can um, I, I, I was like now now's the come down at the minute yeah you know I feel like I've been drinking probably 8 to 12 cans of Red Bull throughout the day you I'll probably have and now no 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 I've, I've been good and Monster. now 
No, I, mate, I, listen, I might have one can of them in a blue moon. Lucas said different story. That's bad news as well. Um, but now I'm having the come down of that, that real high throughout the day. Hmm. I know when I wake up tomorrow morning, um, you know, turf the turf Joe out the door with Logan um, and then start cleaning the pub because there's no way in the world that once I'm awake tomorrow that I'm going to be able to go lay back down because... I'm, I'm, I'm going to be taken again by that feeling of that, this wave of absolute anticipation, this excitement. Um, but I know I've got to work till three. <laughs> so I'm going to be like, ah, oh, fuck. But I'll, like, I've, I've spoken to some family. Um, I'm still waiting to see if um, they're going to come here and meet me. Um, my my brother-in-law and my brother. My brother's finishing work at three as well, so he won't be coming. My brother-in-law's off, so he's mm-hmm. probably. I've, I've said to him, "Look, meet me here if you if you can. We'll go DLR, do the rest of it, and we'll get there and we'll get. You know, I, I just I'm, I'm now at point. I want to be at the stadium. I want it to be. You want it tomorrow. to be tomorrow, don't you? You want it to be I, eight o'clock. No, I don't even want it to be eight o'clock. I want it to be like four Six. o'clock tomorrow. And then, you know, six o'clock comes yeah. round. And for those of you going tomorrow that are in the chat, um, the Heineken DJ malarkey outside the stadium, that's where we're all meeting at six o'clock tomorrow. Um, we're all meeting there. Um, I know Specky Becky, uh, Specky Bex from Hammer's Chat. That's her Twitter handle. I'm not calling her something that's rude. Um, <laughs> happy, yourself, me, Lucas, um, you know, he's flown over from America. You know, Becker's have a half. Tom, Budgie, we're, we're all going to be there. Uh, hopefully, if um, Andy Miles is going, you know, <laughs> jazz. Um, we're all hopefully going to be in and around that area. Stop it, Robert. We're all going to be in and around that area. So if any of you in the chat that want to be there with us, come on, come and say hello. I'll be in a full from You stop it. I'll be in a full from Iron Top. Um, I don't know what Numpty Bollocks here will be wearing. Um, I will be going in the club shop to buy that, the new, the new kit, because I think they're 25 quid. Um, I think Budgie had a bit of a meltdown earlier because his Hermes um, parcel didn't deliver to his house, even though he was in. Hermes? Yeah, they're fucking Herbies. Um I was going to say, they're rubbish, and that's you know, being very polite. We we will, we yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say, we, we, we're witnessing history tomorrow. It's our first semi-final since 1976. Yeah, you weren't alive. Well, actually, you were in your second coming or third coming, I think, of life. I wasn't alive. Um, Happy was 26 when that happened. You know, when we 1976, Happy was mm. Happy was in her, you know, in her mid 20s. Um, she moisturises oh, quite a lot, apparently. I think Liverpool have just missed the goal because all my Liverpool supporting customers have just jumped up and then sat down, sat down. With their hands out. on their head. Um, oh dear. Listen, Robert. There'll be there'll be plenty. As I said to Rob before I started, I will probably be um, jumping on and off live on Streamyard as um, as the day goes on, because um, you know I, I I'm going to be as excited as tomorrow. Um, her two hundred and twenties, Wally. Please don't. Oh, Come well, on. she ain't looking bad on it. It has to be said. No, you know, I tell you why, Robert. Not that's not body work. That's not face cream she uses. It's polyfiller. Is it? Yeah. Fills you in can tell crack. her that. I'll, I'll I'll I just did. Tell her. I, I just did. Yeah, but I'm I'm talking to her face. Oh, listen. I'd have to get on my knees. I know. I know. But... Sort of like she's a long way from your from your nose, and she can't sort of listen. Listen, Unless she gets her I'll, have to, I'll have to kneel down for her to punch me in my face. Right? No, you won't. No, you won't. No, I'll make sure you're getting on camera with me, girl. You definitely you are. Yeah, yourself. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm, listen. We didn't get your drunk ass on camera. We got your drunk face. All right. Uh, she suffers from the Zachary disease. But... She, she suffers from the Zachary disease, Rob. Go on. Her face is exactly the same exactly as her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we Happy. love you, Happy. Love we you love you quite a lot. Um, um, uh, yeah, she might not be able to catch you in the nose, but she can catch you in the shins. In the nuts. Well, I don't she know. About, she can headbutt me Again, in the nuts, knowing her. 
Um, you know. I'll be honest with you, Rob. I don't want to stop this this stream. I could I could carry on talking for another two or three hours to be honest with you, and I probably guarantee people in the chat would probably sit there and um and, and join in because we're all feeling the same. Mm. We we're, we're all feeling that that, that, that you know, we're standing yeah. on the brink of of history in the club. Well, like I, I say, I, this is, this could go down. In, in future years, if this if this goes the way that we are all sitting here and hoping, this could be a, a one of those moments in the history, like 1964, like 1965, like 1975, like 1980, like 1986, seminal Please. moments in our club's history that that are indelibly marked. I mean, a lot of these dates I weren't alive for, or I but have, this is it. yeah, but they're still. They're here. They're part of the the, the history of they're the club. Of and, and I, I've yeah. got, I, 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 although I wasn't there, I've got a part. I feel like it's part of me. Does that kind of make sense? No, no, but it is. It's part of our fabric. Uh, yeah. uh, it's part of the fabric of the club. It's part of the fabric that makes us supporters, as, as, as you know, as passionate and, and and everything else as we are. And. As I said earlier, I, I really do think these guys are. It's true. I'm, I'm not making a comment. Okay, Liverpool are now one new up from the noise that's coming from downstairs. Um, See now that that one we did and we didn't, didn't we, Darren? Because we would have qualified in '86 if it hadn't have been for what happened at Heisel. So we did. Oh, we you were polite right there. Now. You were polite what? there. I was what? going, I was going double footed and blaming them bastards from Merseyside. To be honest with you, I couldn't give a shit. Oh, oh! Listen, it was a long time ago. Oh, I'm listen. sure there was there was shit going on on both sides of, of it. So, was. listen, we were no angels. You know, we were no angels. Ex exactly, out, exactly. I was going to blame them anyway. Um, I yeah, well, no, I know, it, but it, yeah, they have. Yeah, that's what I said. I could hear them downstairs. I can see them on the camera. Hey, um, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, listen. Talk, 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 talk. Kind of honk. Um, I, I. Play the scouts. These guys, these guys have cemented their names along for me already. Anyway, I don't know how the guys in the chat feel. Let me know. Um, I feel that these guys have cemented their names alongside the boys of '86. I do because <sighs> I'll be honest with you. Not yet. How often? How often do you see you, you see sides in these, especially sides like us? Mm. You know, you could say Wolves from a couple of years ago, and and the Evertons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, that always used to have a a European hangover and not do well in the league, and but do all right in the in Europe. Yeah. And here was especially like the, the clubs like us, mm -hmm. us Everton, da 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 da, da right? Um I'm I'm at a point where I really do believe that these guys have cemented that place alongside the boys of eighty six because um this they, they, they're about to have two back to back seasons of top eight finishes. Yeah. Okay? They've got a European They've scored again. Okay. Um, we've, we've got we've got Cheers, um, a, 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 a two legged European semi final to look forward to. So for me, these guys are up there with with what. Um, well, it, it it's an achievement. They're going to be spoken. I I believe so. Anyway, um, obviously, I was I was eight. You were ten. In eighty six, um, yeah, yeah, I was I was yeah. about ten. Yeah. yeah. So I was eight, you were ten, and we we we, we remember parts of that season. Yeah, we, I do. We know more. I of remember. That uh, uh, do you know what I probably remember most? I probably don't remember so much about the games when they happened. I've obviously seen footage since yeah, yeah, yeah. four 0 at Stamford Bridge, um, the last home game I think it was against Ipswich. We won two one. Um, in in the, the footage that that we showed when we went. Live that you've got the the penalty that Ray Stewart blasted Ray Stewart, past yep. um, Paul Cooper in the Ipswich goal, um, but I, I don't really remember it 
as it was happening that well. But what no. I do remember was my dad being very, very excited yeah. at the fact that his team that he'd supported since 1963, 1964, um, were possibly on the cusp of lifting the league title. Now, we know that it didn't happen, but that's still a team that in our club's history goes down in legend. I mean, the boys of 86, all you've got to do to even a fan that wasn't alive. I mean, right. Take Jake. Jake is what? 14. Yep. Jake was clearly not around. (coughs) Excuse me. Jake was clearly not around when the boys of 86 was happening. My kids weren't around when the boys of 86 happened. I turn around to my kids. I turn around to Jake and say, boys of 86, they know who we're talking about. They're legendary right. figures within the club. Do I think that this batch of players is on that level? To be honest, right here, right now, no. I think for me, and this is my personal feeling on it, we get to the final, and especially, and definitely if we win it, if we win it, they're they're elevated to, I I would say, the level of the sixty five team cup winners cup. That yeah. that's how highly I would go. Listen, this, because for me, I think that, that I I think this and this is purely my opinion. If you was to say to me, what's the greatest moment in West Ham's history? In my opinion, it's the cup winners cup final in sixty five because there was a moment when we'd won a major European tournament. Now, I know that towards the end of the Cup Winners Cup's existence, it wasn't quite the tournament that it was in 65. But at that moment in time, the Cup Winners Cup was the second biggest tournament in European football because the UEFA Cup didn't exist. It it didn't come in till 72, I think. And then that's the same thing with this right now. It's, it's the second biggest competition in, in European football. Mm. All I'm saying is right now, where, where, where we're at, this, this team and this season is, is going to be spoken about in... It's, it's going to be spoken about by the guys that are, you know, probably 15, mm. 16 like my boys. years old that, my yeah, that don't know the boys of 86. Or well, mm. Sorry, let me rephrase that. They, they know, know them, but they the, don't because know them. Of us. Them. Yeah, because yeah. of us, they know what... what Vicariously, um, they know them. The importance of what the boys of 86 yeah. mean to West Ham as a club. Those Your boys will hold this 2022 team in the same esteem mm-hmm. as we hold the boys of 86. Although we don't remember the season, we know that it was an important part of the fabric of who we are and what we've become as fans, as a club. And, the you know, the, the, the kids of today, the youngsters, the younger fans hmm. will remember this as th- this is this, this season is their boys of 86. That's even and, if, and even if we even don't if we get fail, to the final, even if we fail, this is still their boys of 86 moment. What I will say is, um, the, you know, we go on to win it. It goes beyond that now. Mm. It, and it does. It, it goes beyond the boys of 86. If what we get is what we've got right now, they're on par. If we go on to win it, it becomes something else. These guys become legends of the club. Mm. You know, Mikel Antonio is the highest scoring Premier League player for West Ham. Great. That's, that's, a, that's a nice accolade. But to say that if you he helped fire us, all right, <laughs> say fired us, but you get the idea, was part of the side that won the 2022 Europa League for West Ham United. Jared Bowen, you know, so yep. um, these guys, you know, took us all the way. I'd love it if he scores the winning goal in the final. Oh, listen, so would I. I'm not, I wouldn't take nothing away from him. I'd, I'd sing his name. Mate, I would. But I just don't think he's good enough. I'd, for the I'd, 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 I'd be on the phone. Um, yeah. Um, James, James, did you, want to, did you want to come on the channel just to wind up Duke? Hello? Um, Hello? Yeah. Send me the link. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I I just googled something here, Rob, because th- there were there were dark there were there were a long lot of dark days. I was there for be- a lot of them before this. Okay, 
Um, would you consider the FA Cup final a dark day? Yes. No, no, I wouldn't consider it a no, dark I, day. We oh. made an FA Cup final. Yes, it was heartbreaking to lose the way we did. Da, da, da. But it's not a dark day. It's still a cup final. It's still part of the, you know, the result was, well, the result is the issue. The, we reached the FA Cup final. Mm, okay? Yeah, I get what you're saying. It was a dark day for yeah. me. A dark day for me, Rob, mm. was when I was 12 years old, and it was the it was Valentine's Day in 1990. That's oh, a dark you're you're day. going back to Boundary Park, aren't you? Yeah, that's. A, I, I remember, remember listening that. to that on the radio. I remember crying myself Pissing to down sleep. Right. I remember crying myself to sleep because my beloved West Ham, at the age of 12, had just been spanked six 0 on a plastic pitch. I, and I think one of our better players was a 40-year-old Phil Parks. He was. And then I remember the following the the, the following week or you know, whenever the, the, the next leg was played, and we we won 3-0. And I remember having that feeling of we could do this. You know, you know, and I, I remember, but I remember sitting in the hallway. This is when my mum and dad used to have a working men's club. Mum and dad were working, and, and I remember sitting in the hallway of the because it was the only place I could find a plug to plug the, the white radio in. And I remember losing six Neither of high. Neither I, high. I, I, I do you want to know something? Do you want to know something? I watched the game through the window of the central. Okay. What, when it was happening? Yes, yes, yes. Through the window. Okay. Like this. You know, because we were in the bowling, and someone threw um, Grace, was, Grace was only 18 months old. And someone threw a plastic cup at the TV and blew all the TVs in the bowling. So everyone obviously flooded out. Everyone got angry. Um, I attacked a bloke on the shoulder who was a spitting image of Nigel Rio Coca, if I may. Um, and I was like, I had Grace in my arms, 18 months old, holding her close because everyone was, it was, the, the atmosphere so it was turned. kicking off. And I tapped him on the shoulder and went, mate, I've got to get my daughter out. And he literally tapped two other blokes in front of him. They turned, saw me with a baby covering her head because bottles were going everywhere. It was it was bad. And they literally, they parted everyone like the Red Sea. It was amazing yeah. to see like these. It's like bands. that scene in Fools and Horses where yeah. you've got all the people on horses and people are chucking and Del Boy turns up in the in the Capri gear. Hold up, hold up. It's Del Boy. And they, yeah, it was, it was very much like that. And it was amazing. Um, and I remember watching it through the central like that. Through the window. We walked in. Hang on a minute. If you're, if, you're, if you're watching it like that, where was Grace? Because she's a baby. So what was she? she was, was she on she the was, floor? She was with Joe. She was because me, ah. me and my mum, Joe, my brother, um, we all went up together and we were like looking like this through the window. Obviously, we walked in just as Dean Ashton scored and got coated, as you, you know, from Leon. Um, yeah. I got home that night, Rob. Cheers, and Pete. I, Look after I, yourself, mate. And I watched the whole game back. Oh, you didn't. I watched the whole game back. I've seen the goals, but I've never, I've never sat there and watched highlights or the whole match. I just can't. I, I just I've, can't. I've, you know, I, whenever it's on TV, I, I, I will watch it because again, it's, it's, <laughs> it's true. It's part of who we are, you know. Um, it and, is, and it, but and it was painful. And you know what? You want to know something? It's what makes us stronger as fans. But yeah. even listen, even if you know we, the things don't go to plan as as you know tomorrow or the second leg or even the final, we come back stronger from it because regardless of whatever happens, we still love our club. You know, we've mm. gone through some. We've, you know, we've gone through some times where um, I'm with you, Ian. It, yeah, it, it was horrible. Um, you know, we've gone through some times when you know we were bought out by a country. Let's be honest. And then, and then, uh, I thought it was a supermarket. And then a volcano happened, and everything went down the fucking drain. After giving, you know, making making our making our Australian captain the highest paid player at the club, and nearly bankrupting the club. And then the dildo twins had to come in and, and fix it, if you will. Um, and yeah, like Happy says, we don't have that arrogance about us. We we call us West Ham are massive. It's tongue in cheek. Like we have we've had massive... delusions of mediocrity through our history. Uh, hey, listen, <laughs> yeah. um, let alone grandeur. But here we are. Here we are on the cusp of, of, of 
something special. And I mean, would this season has been special already, and and it has. There's no taking away. We've had some, we've had some fantastic results this season. You know, City in the cup, Liverpool, Chelsea, you know, um, United, and you know, Leon away, Seville at home. You know, the all the European games at the London Stadium, regardless, of, you know, of who they were, were special mm. nights. You know, I got to see the Genk game thanks to. Um, yourself and the guys over at Hammers Chat for the you know the the, the tickets got met met stag. Um, did and you know it's it's ingrained in us as fans. You know, um, I, I I know several other guys that are, you know Chelsea got money and all of a sudden they're Chelsea fans or. I'm going to support United now. We, we're not, oh, we're not fly oh, by, we're oh. not fly by the night fans, are we? Wait, we we've stuck wait, it out. And we've been there. I'm going to find this. Where was it? There was a message that I got yesterday, and I couldn't believe what I was reading. I'm going to have to wind back. Where is it? It's on a YouTube. Well, it's in the Hammers Chat Addicts group, but this was from. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I won't, I'm, there's nothing specific here, so I'm not naming names, but basically, long story short, it's a guy on the Hammers Chat Addicts group who saying about he was talking to a friend who's been a Manchester United fan for some years. Um, and he's sort of like he's talking to him about the state of Manchester United, and he said he doesn't care anymore, he supports Liverpool. Seriously, I'm like, what? Sorry. <laughs> and then it goes on to say um, another mate who supported Everton, but last month now supports Manchester City. And I'm I'm sitting there and I'm just like, mate, any anyone that comes to me and says that they've changed football team past the age that they left secondary school, mate, I cannot take you seriously. No, I cannot take you seriously. Listen, if you if you listen, primary school, I'll give you. Secondary school, nah, no, no, no. By the time you leave secondary school, what, 17? No, no, no. 16, by the time you leave, pri- sorry, you t- by the time you start, oh, right. secondary school. Yeah, sorry, you, sorry. Yeah, listen, I, uh, 11 years of age. If you if, up to 11 years of age, I can kind of forgive someone for, for changing allegiances for yeah. whatever reason. That's yeah, yeah. fine. Up but there is my scar from the 1980 FA Cup final, right? My, my dad yeah. got me that. I've, I've said the story many times, it's been in my blood. Since that day, and I've never wanted not once, even after the 6 0 drubbing at, at Boundary Park, even yep. after you know, ugh, the, relegations, the, 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 the shit that we've suffered over the years, not Long once schemes. have I not once have I wanted to go and oh, fuck it, I'm supporting City, or you know, yeah, no, I'm gonna support, happening. I'm gonna go support Liverpool of the early 80s, you know, I'm gonna go support. Man U of the 90s when they won everything, you know, 99 treble. Not once, not once did I consider that I was going to go somewhere else. My love for West Ham has not waned in 44 years. It has never, not once waned. As I said, the whole Jimmy Fallon fever pitch baseball movie, Rob, you know, Mm. loving something so uncontrollably, unconditionally that you you have no you, you have no effect no. on the outcome. Yet here we are still giving our all for this club. Like no, mm. that that's I, I can't I I can't imagine supporting any other football team no. like I do West Ham United. Like just, if, just to, just before you carry on there, dude. I've just had this comment up for a little while, just to answer the question directly. <laughs> Sharky, my time in in Leon, I could write a book on those three and a half, four days. I literally could. Maybe I will one day. Um, I sounded a bit like Sean Dyche. I, I probably sounded like him on and off for about a week. <laughs> it's only got back to normal in probably about the last couple of days, properly. It was still every now and again, my voice would go a little bit raspy and I, I would go back into Deitch mode. So, see so the, the comment, the comment there from, from Dan, 
um, where he says there about he grew up with Man U fan, went to his first Burnley game at nine. That's fine. Yep. That's fine. You know, I, I you've, you've gone to a game and, and you fell in love, you know, at that moment. Mm. You know, my, my, my brother, my brother, you know, was a West Ham fan. That, that sounds horrible. Um, did you? I, I told the story on here, Rob, didn't I? That my my brother um, started out West Ham fan, got to about seven. My sister bought him a Man United top, and he went to school one day. And when he came home from school, he couldn't find his Man U shirt. Why was that? Um, I burnt it. Good lad. Um, it I weren't have happening. Story, but it weren't happening. Like I. I I get it. Listen, I shouldn't have let him make his own decisions. And, and if he's watching, Dan, I'm sorry. I love you. Um, but it's, 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 I take it, it he obviously knows. Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it, it, only, about, <laughs> only about three or four years. Uh, <laughs> he's 20. No, he's not. He's 30 he, this year. Did he thank you for it? Well, listen, probably not. He probably hates me for everything that we've gone through. Over over the years as West Ham fans, but he was mm. never been a Man U fan. But again, he was an age. He was of an age where, if that's what he decided he wanted to be and, and didn't want to support West Ham anymore, then then that's fine. Like I, I get that, and you know, same with Dan there. You know, went. But it's the fact that he went to a Burnley game and fell in love with it and was hooked. You know, he could have quite easily stuck to support Man United because they won stuff. You know, it just shows that he's not a he's, he's not a glory hunter. You know, hmm. that, and I've got and no that, problem with Man United fans that are born and bred in Manchester or have family from Manchester. But I, I I'm a little bit old school. I don't know that the world has changed with the internet and social media and all that. And and you can, but I mean, I just find it really weird that tell you what in Dartford, yeah, which is obviously oh. a parish that you know fairly well, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I'm walking around and, I, and and there are kids wearing Manchester City tops, and I just sit there and I go, twenty years ago, you'd have never, you'd have never worn a Manchester City top, no, nope. ever, no, nope. um, and that's you know not what? me being disrespectful, but disrespectful to Manchester City. Manchester City are a great footballing institution, but I just don't understand someone from Dartford that has no family connections, no family ties, no history with Manchester City as a football club, Manchester as a city, going 20 years ago, yeah, I'll support. But but here we are today in the year 2022, and, and it's that's the yeah. way the world is. I mean, you know, we're we're dinosaurs, Duke. This is not, you know. You know, and, and, and the sad thing is, it's it's going to continue to happen, and, and all of a sudden, I, I promise you, next year we're going to have... Um, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have probably a few few thousand Newcastle fans that weren't Newcastle fans over the last you know twenty years. It's it's, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Please tell me you. you but that's me. listen. But that's if that's what it is, and that's what it is. You know, I mean, I listen. My my younger brother is fourteen years between me and my brother. Fourteen years. Um, I like and that, He. He started supporting West Ham because I kind of not forced it on him, but instilled that that's what it is. You know, when he got to seven or eight and he's at primary school and all his mates are supporting Man United. And again, probably, probably should have um, kind of let him make his, his own mind up and, and let him go down the road that he wanted to follow. But it's so it's, it's it's such an ingrained way of life with me. Even at fourteen, when he was born, and you know when I was twenty four, and I'm taking him out to play football down the park, and on all the rest of it, to hear, to see him now, and and especially tomorrow, knowing that I'm going to get to, um, I'm going to get to share this moment with my younger brother that we, you know. Like I say, when he was 10, I watched him burst into fucking tears when we were relegated after the game against uh, Birmingham. Mm. I, I, we've come full circle. We're now celebrating a, a real fucking An amazing moment together. Mm. And to have him in the stadium with me, like I say, he's been to several games. He's probably gone to more games this season than I have. Um, I've got to a few. I've got to more games this season than I probably have done in the last good number of years. 
part of that is because of, the, of obviously doing the channel we're doing and, you know, the guys at Hammers Chat and, and obviously yourself and, and I'm now hooked and I'm, I'm, I'm back and season ticket is definitely coming my way. I don't give a shit how much you Put yourself costs. on the list. I have, yes. <laughs> um, I've also do, put, do you know? Do they tell you where you are in the pecking order? How many there I, are ahead not of you? I've received anything yet. Okay, but listen, it, it doesn't matter to me. I don't it, know if there's anybody in the live chat. Are there any of you guys in in the uh, in the queue for a season ticket? And if so, do they tell you at any point how many people are ahead of you? Listen, it happens when it happens, and and when that stadium yeah, goes up to sixty six, you know, there's there's more of a chance of that of that coming round. You know, so. Um, to, yeah, I mean, tomorrow's a big moment for me in, in, in my life as a West Ham fan. In fact, I, again, yeah. I get to share it with my brother. That's that's huge. That's huge for me. I don't, people in the chat probably won't understand just how much that's... Um, oh, Darren's saying no, you, you don't you get know. notified. It's just um, you get... He's, Apparently, he's, you have to contact them periodically. Okay. Uh, fuck that. When it's, when it's my turn, it's my turn. And Go Until up there then. on the 1st of July and go bang, 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 yeah. bang. Oi, where's my ticket? <laughs> you know, listen, all the time, all, and, and for me at the moment, all the time I've Probably got you arrested. guys, I've got I've got yourself who Again. can, you know, help, <laughs> thanks, um, that can help me out, the guys in the chat, you know, the guys, the other YouTube channel that, that run these competitions and stuff. All the time that I can do that um, is, you know, it's it's going to be special for me. Um, to be able to continue to go to games until I get that um, thing. What's, 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 Oh, God. Still scarred for life, isn't ya? It's, it's, it's one letter away. I mean, listen. Imagine, imagine if Diana turned around to me and said, I want to name one of the kids Spurs. Grounds for divorce. We've got nine o'clock, haven't we? Yeah. It would have been less embarrassing to call call the child wanker. Okay. I I nearly dropped the C bomb, but I I I I I thought I'd hold it, but you you just did it for me. <laughs> I bought, I didn't I didn't voice it. I kind of you mouthed it. Yeah, listen. Yeah. If you if you're gonna mouth one of them, it's, it's not a bad night. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But we are got nine o'clock, so I can say it. My got... next child, if I had another one, was going to be called Bobby. Oh. Do you know what? Happy, give me a shout, babe. If you, you know, do you know what? When we was expecting Elizabeth, <laughs> I turned around and said she was going to be named Bobby, and that is actually one of her middle names. Old horses, old horses. Get Baker's comment up because that is amazing. That is outstanding. Wow. I remember hearing about someone that um, that named their child after the nineteen eighty FA Cup winning team. Yeah, there's a lot of names. Phil, there. Ray, <laughs> Billy, Alvin, yeah. Frank, blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah. I mean, uh, I've got cramp. Oh, hang on. Oh, That's shit. a killer when that happens. Yeah, See, I, I, try, I try and sort of like, you know, tough it out. But you're a big girl. Oh, I didn't pretend not to be. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Um... Uh, but can I just just one thing? Who who's to say you won't have another one? Just saying. Mind you, isn't it thirty five? And apparently, anything beyond that, and you're classed as a geriatric mother. I thought that of happy anyway when I first met her. To be honest with you, thought she was a geriatric. Didn't didn't have nothing to do with the fact that she was a mother. I just thought so. that's true. H yes. Hang on, hold up. Hold up! You you should never have put them two comments together. I know they're one after the other, what? but the fact that Hammerhead <laughs> says Grumble, <laughs> and then Chucky says that's my brother's name. <laughs> is it really? Is it really interesting? Interesting um, naming. They're, they're tweeting. Like I went, tweedy, went to tweedy, a house. Being tweedy dumb. <laughs> I remember going years ago to a house in Hastings to do a job, and there was a little there was a baby there in a, in a high chair, clearly a girl. I said, "Oh, what did you what did you name her?" Fred. I went, "Is that short for something like Frederica?" No, her name's Fred. F R E D Fred, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, I'm a... <laughs> I've got nothing. I've got nothing." 
What I do want to say is, I want to uh, Hammerhead's comment there about the fact, the fun fact of that. Um, no one's, no one's been uh, the game. The name Gary is going extinct because no one's been called Gary since. Do you know another? Do you know another name that's that's becoming a little bit on, on the extinct list? Go on. And there is a, there is a West Ham connection. Trevor. No. When I say a West Ham connection, indirectly. Oh, got it. Nigel. Oh, really? Nigel Ben. Yeah, the name Nigel is another one that's that's becoming extinct. Gary and Nigel. Listen, their they're, they're, they're names. Um, can you imagine seeing a baby called Gary? Oh, it's his little baby Gary. <laughs> They've seen this one. Brooking. A young kid yeah. that used to see on Brooking. Yeah, I, I mean... I like that. <laughs> it's, listen, there's... It's unique. Listen, everyone's got a reason. Um, you know, my, my, my kids... Obviously, um, wait, um, wait, wait. You know a girl called Peter. It's my middle name. Yeah, but you're not a girl. Well, when you when you're drunk, you get a little bit suggestive. It has to be said. In fact, he doesn't actually need to be drunk. Sometimes he's he's stone cold sober, and he's he's he's, he's he, when we was on the boats last, he he was molesting me. So well, I didn't touch you. You did. That little dress you were wearing. Oh, was that that what was tempting you? Was it? That's what got me going. Fair enough. Okay. Are we um we gonna knock it on the head, there, me old mate? Yeah, I, I, I mate. I, I, I'm just. I, I am excited. I, I am buzzing. I, w- I want to carry on, but I I do have. Work it's not that. Me. It's yeah. Well, so have I, and, and this is it. I don't. Wanna... Oh, oh! Look, 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 look! look Tomorrow look. just needs to hurry up you're and just, come round. You're, you're just, you're just a pervert, happy. She That's is a is. massive you're just, just, perv. Just, you know, Lanzini, in a, and it's in a good way, in a good way. But she is a massive perv. She's, a, she's a friendly pervert. She is. I was once described as by someone as I had. I was a pervert with a heart of gold. Hang True on. story. Hang on, hang on. I need to. I, I need I need clarification on this, if I may, because I want to know where this has come from. What? How drunk was I, and when did I say this? There needs to be. Where dresses for Saturday? What's going on Saturday? I have no idea. Uh oh. I have no idea. Oh no! Seriously. I... <laughs> you would surely change it. You would surely change. That's got to be a joke. Seriously, come on, Ahmed. No, seriously, please, please. Surely oh, you God. change it to something less embarrassing, like Wayne Kerr. Oh, Jimmy Sapp. No, stop. <laughs> when we oh, said we were going to Jesus. Girls Brunch. Ah, right. Okay. No, you. Still don't make sense, but I weren't invited. It's fine. <laughs> right. Is there anything else you want to say before we knock it on the head, my friend? I cannot wait. Um, there's it's going to be it's steady, a big day. Matt. Steady. It's a, it's a big day. Um, those going early. Okay, please pace yourself because part of the reason that if I do go and I go early, I'm going to start slowly. Um, I want to remember the game. (laughs) I don't want to get so absolutely bollocks that... Darren, um, don't make it your last, mate. Don't make it your last. Don't be a stranger. Come on back. We have a lot of fun on here, mate. Yeah, yeah, we have it. We we chat shit for a living. Well... Don't know about for a living. But... Yeah, well, um, happy. Don't get too drunk. Fuck's sake! You want to remember the game. Yeah, you wanna, I'm probably you know... not going to get there till about five, I reckon, because well, I've got to wait until Libby finishes well, school and whatever. Whatever time people get there, um, as I've said, I'm, I'm going to be leaving my pub at about half past three. Be there for about half past four. Um, 
we're meeting, you know, Heineken Bar, you know, the, the big Dubry. Yes, you would, Happy. I, I saw you. <laughs> I saw you. Remember your drunken ass? Right. Um, yeah, don't do a gonzo, as Hammerhead said. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, Heineken Bar, Heineken DJ Dubry at six. Um, I'd love to meet as many of you there as you can. I'll be in my, my Sky Blue. Um, Are you going in the Sky Blue one? Forge from my, yeah. The, the black should I wear one the black one then? Or should I go Sky Blue as well? Yeah, it's good. Oh, you wear the black one. The black one I can't wear because it, it's it's more fitted than the blue one and it kind of shows my overhang. So what you're and saying is I got you the wrong size. No, 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 you got me the right size. And when I lose some weight, it will fit me again. But when... Ah, we're of, blaming lockdown. I, I, no, I'm blaming the fact that I've taken over a pub and I'm fucking drinking every day again. It's never wow. good. So, you know, you wear the black one. I wear the blue one. Um, come and say hello. Um... You know, Peter, that was in the chat earlier, tapped me on the shoulder at the Burnley game, scared the living shit out of me. Um, you know, <laughs> I watch you. Jesus, what? Like, oh, on YouTube. Christ, I thought we meant like through the windows in food, like out of the bushes <laughs> like that, you know. Um, come and say hello, introduce yourself, because obviously, you know, you, your names on here are going to be different to what your names are. Don't just come up to me like, you know, Hammerhead here comes up to me and goes, Hi, I'm Daryl. Doesn't do me any no. favors whatsoever. Darryl. Like, come on now. You know what I mean? Nigel. Um, <laughs> you're you're getting extinct, you are. Be careful. Come and, come and see me. <laughs> Cheers, Pat. Do appreciate it, mate. Come and see us, you know, me, Gatesy. Happy will be there with a bit of luck. Um, you know, Bex and Tom from, from Hammers Chat, they'll be there. Um Lucas, do a recording, you never know. Lucas, I think from um uh, is, is, is he American, American Hammers? Hammers. He is, isn't he? Yep, yep, American yep. Hammers TV, he'll be there. Gio and Gonzo probably on the boats at some They'll point. They'll be on the so, boats, yeah. Um, come and say hello. Don't, you know, it, it, it's it's nice. It's nice for me and Rob to put faces to names yeah. as well. Um, unless, unless you look like happy and then it's, you know, that scary moment. Oh, so. that's mean. That's she knows mean. I love her. It's fine. Listen, it's fine. She calls I did wonder why you handed her a brown paper bag. Yeah. You horrible you are. She can shout out. I don't like her anymore. <sighs> well, I don't know. I, I, listen, I'm staying out of this. I'm staying out of this. You, you, you two like to bicker like a couple of naughty school children. Right. I'm going to wrap it up. because we're Happy as a naughty school girl. Or oh, 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 you oh. behave yourself. Oh, don't. Oh. Uh, there, oh, uh, I haven't road tested this, have I? Oh, here we go. <laughs>
the Forge from Iron shirts that me and Rob have got have cost us about 48 quid, Rob, didn't they? Doubt that, so yeah. So they're, they're a little bit on the expensive side to expect you guys to pay a pair of pracks like yeah, that. Yeah, but we did sort of go full in for it, didn't Over we? We the had the sort of like the, the arm patches Ooh. and the names Ooh. on the back and the numbers. And I'll tell you what I want to try and do, Rob, is if I could get one like that in the blue what, and the, white stripes. The AC? Yeah, okay. in the blue and white stripes. Like that as a as a falls from my own jersey, I'd be uh, that's 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 actually my favourite kit, which is why I want to get the the Betway one this year without the without the sponsor, the yeah. away kit this season without Betway on it. So yeah, Duke, can I ask you something? Please do. Is there any chance that you would mind if I finish this stream up? Yeah, I need a wee. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right, guys, please don't forget to drop a like on the stream, subscribe, comment on and share the stream, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for alerts on new content. And as always, Duke and I thank you very much indeed for your support. Duke, we'll finish off with one very simple question ahead of our European semi-final. What are we? Fucking massive, Rob. That'll do with me. With aggression. Come on, you irons. Have some of that.